All right, welcome everybody to Triple R Two Four Seven and Performance Blogging, where we run around the world with this great performance blogging system that you guys are starting to hear about. Our co-founders Rory and Tanya Rickard are actually out in uh, Napa, California, or maybe San Francisco, California, right now. I don't know. They're moving around, um, tasting wines and getting everything ready for our next deliveries. What a wonderful! Wonderful job that must be uh, to be able to taste those wonderful wines and be a part of that. So um, for those of you that are brand new, welcome. You had your hands raised up for a second. You've been invited here because we've got somebody cares enough about you to let you take a good look at an, an unbelievable and amazing community of people, but people who are also marketers and marketers that are building a new way of life on the Internet. Uh, my name is Niall. I've been in the industry for 33 years. I've known the co-founders for 29 of those 33 years, probably getting close to 30 now. Uh, so I've known them most of uh, my adult life, but most of my business career as well, right? Um, and even though we have done different things than, than the other was doing, we always come back and uh, our paths keep crossing over and over and over. Um, for the first five or 10 years. And then they just, you know, we got on the same path. We've been on the same path for a long time. Um, I, when I met Rory Rickard, he was a young telecommunication guy. I started with a big uh, telecom company out West. And he, you know, started in the mailroom. He worked his way up to his software and getting, getting into the computer that runs the telephone line. And, I was a young entrepreneur looking for ways to build my business and advertise all over the country. I was doing a mail order program and I wanted to run ads in the top 300 newspapers in the United States. The Don LaPree path, Mel Golinski. We all remember Don LaPree. That's the way I wanted to go. I wanted to advertise in all 300 newspapers at the same time and I wanted to run it through one voicemail. And everybody told me I needed to talk to this Roy Rickard guy. So I finally got a hold of Roy Rickard, got him on the phone. And I met this really awesome young guy that had a lot of passion for helping people. But he had a lot of passion about teaching the system that he had put together to help entrepreneurs like me advertise. Not only did he give me the voicemail that I needed to uh, advertise in all 300 newspapers at the same time, he showed me how I could build a network of people around the country, put a message into that system and shoot it out to everybody at the same time. Now, today, that doesn't sound like much, but this was in 1992, before we had the internet, before we had cell phones, computers, and all of the technology we have today. We didn't have any of that stuff in 1992. We just had Ma Bell, the old phone line, right? And, and a computer system that Rory put us some software into to create what's called a billboard voicemail. And it worked beautifully. Um, I called him up. He helped me. He was friendly. He told me I could call him anytime I needed help. I did many times because everyone knows now struggles with technology, even back then. And uh, but I got to know the person on the other end of the phone. And it was um, we built a good relationship over the telephone. And then one day we uh, heard about an event that was happening that we, we could both attend. Right. Events are magical environments. A lot of great things happen at all the events. Roy and I attended an event in Miami, and that's where we met for the first time. And I got to look in his eyes, shake his hands, and really see this individual and what he was all about and, and you know, see his energy, everything. And he's one of the people who looks straight in your eyes when he's talking to you. He never looks away. He wants to hear what you got to say. He wants to hear your story because he's looking for a way to help. Because of the, one of the first things he learned in this planet, helping people or companies or anybody with problems is how you make money in this world. Solving problems makes money. And when he's talking to you, if, if there's something that's holding you back and you're telling your story, he's that guy that looks in the eyes because he really wants to understand. Because he's as you're talking, you're still telling your story, he's already trying to figure out a way to help. He's trying to figure out a way to help you um, get over whatever obstacles in your way to achieve whatever it is you're trying to achieve. That's the guy I met back in Miami in 1993, I think it was. But that's also when the internet started hitting everybody's desk, right? Uh, kitchen countertops, we had those great big old monitors about this big, it took two of us to carry it in the house, remember those days? My first computer was a 286 on dial-up. 
got that big old monitor up on the desk and, and the tower and the keyboard and all that stuff. And, uh, but when the internet came out, started in everybody's home offices and kitchen countertops, that's when Rory really found his niche. That's when he got to take that software brain and go put it to use, right? He got online and became one of the first online gurus on the internet. He started off with a lead generation company because he knew mass communication. He knew how to run those ads and he knew how to gather all the response and all that data and create leads for entrepreneurs like myself that wanted to build our business, not just nationwide anymore. Now it's worldwide because we had the internet. Rory became the top lead generation guy out there. He has several lead generation companies that are still going today that are still working and still better than anything out there. We've tried other lead generation companies. They do not work. Um, they do not have your best interest in mind. He does because he takes care of any one of his, every one of his customers. He's all about building relationships, under-promising, over-delivering, and making you happy so that you're a long-term client, right? That's always been his motto, and that's why he stayed number one, because he did everything the right way. But then he started building websites, too, because he realized people needed websites to advertise and market their business, right? And I, I had one of those first websites, guys. This is what it looked like. It, it looked like a legal pad or a flyer on the Internet, right? It was just like some, some, something that somebody printed out on an old dot matrix um, computer. Sorry, she's supposed to be on this call, but I'll let her know that later. <laughs> um. It was looking like a flyer on the internet and I was excited when we could just add color to it. When that day come that we learned how to put color on there, I thought it was, and I said this last week, you know, the greatest thing said sliced bread. Oh my goodness, look, we got color on the screen. And then, you know, that just kept evolving. Rory was adding more and learning more and he was putting pages behind pages, right? The second generation stuff. And he just kept adding more pages behind pages and tabs and things you, you can click on to go to other pages. And it just kept evolving over time. And he just became an incredible uh, website builder. And no one could build websites to get the results that he did either. And we've tried other websites. There were companies out there that thought they had the best people involved building websites for their people to use. And we even tried their websites and they couldn't come close to anything that Rory knew how to do. So he was the online guru, then the website guru, right? And that's how Triple R247 was co-founded with him and his wonderful wife, Tanya. Together, they make a power couple like no other that I've ever met in my life. They're, they're incredible human beings. When I first met her, I, I flew out to Utah. It wasn't too long after um, we got to meet Miami. We were doing a lot of business, and I flew out there to Utah to meet Tanya and the kids. And I met this young woman who was raising seven children, running seven businesses, right? Several businesses, uh, and helping Rory get this thing all put together. And, and, and getting everybody trained and putting the system together and the pieces in place. And I just never seen two people work in, in unison the way they did and complement each other the way they did and, and just become uh, the serious power couple that I knew they were going to be. Whether they knew it or not, then I, I could already see where they, that they were going to become one of those power people, power couples on the planet. And I knew that I was going to know these two for the rest of my life. We were going to do business together for the rest of my life because they were incredible people and I wanted to stay around them, right? I had no idea how good it was going to get. I had no idea what we were going to accomplish, but I knew that they were somebody that I needed in my life, um, whether just business associates, good friends, or mentors. I needed to stay tapped into great people like that. And I did. And it's been almost 30 years now, 29 years ago is when I first met Rory um, on, the, on the telephone. So that's how Triple R 247 was created. Rory Rickard taking all of his skills and him and his wife together, creating a company that could produce uh, leads for entrepreneurs, produce websites for entrepreneurs. And then one day he decided he was going to start teaching what he knows how to do to other people. I was one of those people that he tried teaching it to. Do you remember me saying something about having issues with technology? I always, I did very much so then. And when I remember Rory spending time trying to teach all this to me, and when he was done explaining it to me, I think I was more confused than, than before I asked him all those questions. Um, I just couldn't get my brain, my brain wrapped around the technology and everything that he did. And I know one day he had... Uh, three or four or five of 
business associates out there in the Utah area actually come to his house, sit down, and he did a little classroom in front of the whiteboard and try to teach that technology to them. And I think some of you have heard him tell this story. Those guys went to lunch and never came back because we just couldn't get our mind wrapped around the stuff that this guy knew how to do. It, it was like it, it was like baking bread to him. It were or making an egg sandwich to him. It was so simple. It was so routine to him, but it was so many of us that still couldn't get our minds wrapped around it. And then uh, probably about um, 19 years or uh, 19 or 19 years ago, Rory had a long talk with Tandy and he said he was going to build a training site. He was going to take four months off and he was going to build a training site with a lot of videos to teach people how to do exactly what he knew how to do without even have to understand the technology behind it. Build a website, provide the leads, build a training site with videos to teach everybody else how to do it. And so he told Tandy that they agreed he could take, you know, four months off to finish the site. And then six years later, he finished the training site. Um, and it turned into something that you guys see today. All of his understanding, all of his wisdom, all the technology that he knows so well got poured into one system called the performance blogging system. And that was uh, 16 or no, sorry, almost 15 years ago now, right? Almost 15 years ago. So 14 plus years ago, I think. My math is never that good either. Approximately 15 years ago is when the performance blogging system was then born by the co-founders of Triple R 247. The performance blogging system is a website with hundreds of pages inside and every single one of those pages represents another stream of income. And we've partnered with Google. Google AdSense wants to put ads on our websites when our websites are done and they're done properly. You got unique content on your site, you got traffic coming there, Google wants to put an ad there. That's another stream of income. Rory's figured out nothing but a system that creates multiple streams of income for anybody that wants to get plugged in and achieve whatever it is that you come here to achieve. So the person who invited you here thought you might be interested in looking at something that can create you multiple streams of income and allow you to be part of a marketing army run by marketing experts that really know what they're doing. We've got an unbelievable concepts inside that page that make it all work. The marketing house concept that makes it better than a Walmart. If you haven't watched the 13 minute Keystone video yet, you really, really want to watch that 13 minute Keystone video. We have the mall concept. We have the big anchor stores that drive traffic to the mall so all the little stores can make money. We have that concept built right into the website. Marketing geniuses are behind that website. They know what works on the internet. They know how marketing is done. They've been doing it for a long time. They're very good at it. That's why they've been so successful. Rory started off as a lead generation company and he still has the top lead generating machine out there. But guess what? They're not for sale to anybody else anymore. This RRR 247 and PBS tool that we have, the biggest reason why people fail or quit marketing online is because they don't know how to market. Marketing is difficult. Marketing is expensive. Lead generation is expensive. Those are the things that usually hold people back from being successful on the internet. Roy and Tanya figured that out. You know how they figured it out? They took their lead generation companies and they poured it into this family. They don't sell them outside anymore. It's only for this family. Every lead that comes through all of their systems gets poured into RRR 247 and PBS. We don't have to ever worry about lead generation again. The websites, you've seen it. Hopefully, you've taken a look at it. They don't build websites for people outside of RRR 247 anymore. They build PBS. They, they build performance blogging systems for me and you. We have everything that we need to be successful. The only mistake you could ever make here is quit. And you're not quitting on us. You're quitting on yourself if you do that. We're, we're, have you ever heard this phrase before? The train's leaving the station, whether you're on it or not, Greg. Or if the plane's leaving the airport, whether you're on it or not. Triple R247 and PBS, we're going global. We're going all over the place. The, no matter who's on board, 
we're going all over the place. We're going global. Anybody that's on board, they get to enjoy that ride. The only person you quit on is yourself. Always remember that. That's the only mis- that's the one mistake you can make here. You'll make a bunch of tiny mistakes along the way. You'll mess up one of your pages. You'll delete it by mistake. You'll have to rewrite it a couple of times. <laughs> it happens to every single one of us until we've done three or four pages and we get used to our keyboard. And we don't accidentally let our crooked finger or our fat thumb hit the wrong key on the keyboard. <laughs> We're going to make professional writers out of everybody. Why? Because the system, just by following the system and doing what each video tells you to do, without even thinking about it, you learn how to become a writer. Because Yoast tells you how that page looks. And it says, your sentences are too long. Shorten a couple of them. You go up there and shorten a couple of them. It's turning you into a writer without even thinking about being a writer. It's like the, what was that? What's Mr. Miyagi? Mr. Miyagi, a quote, paint a fence, sand the floor, wax on, wax off. Yeah, wax on, wax off. You're going through the steps and just following Rory's videos and following his steps in WordPress and listening to what Yost is telling you. You're becoming a writer without even thinking about me. I'm not a writer because I'm one of those people who said, Rory, I am not a writer. I, I can't write articles like that. He says, well, I've already written all the articles. They're all there. Just go one paragraph at a time, put that in your own words. So I did. And the first page, I just rewrote his paragraphs. Second page, I rewrote his paragraphs. I had a couple more. Third page, I started writing some of my own paragraphs. And then before I bought the fifth or sixth page, I went, oh, my goodness, I'm a writer. (laughs) And I was writing away and having fun doing it. At the end of the Keystone video, what does he say? Get ready to have some fun. I assure you, we have a lot of fun here. We have a lot of fun writing pages, even though it doesn't look like fun in the beginning. We have a lot of fun on our calls. We have a lot of fun in our gatherings. Some people make him say making money is a lot of fun, which it is, as long as you're doing good with it. If you're doing good on the planet with it, then making money is fun, right? Everybody agree to that? Yeah. So that's what we have here, guys. We, um, we've got a system that's, that's full of, created by a marketing genius that created a marketing army. And that marketing army is going out to the world and taking relevant products and services to people that are looking for them. And some of those products and services have a positive impact on their life, a very positive impact on their quality of life. That's what we take to the planet. That's what we're taking out to every person that lives on this planet. Until we're in every continent, every country, every state, every city, and we have had as uh, big an impact as we can on the quality of their life, we're not going to rest. We're going to try to stop all poverty in every corner that we can. We're going to try to take financial freedom and, and time freedom and whatever it is that you're looking for all over the globe. And we feel really good about doing it every day. And those of you that have heard me many times, they'll, they'll testify to this. I say I get up every morning and sometimes I still pinch myself and say, I can't believe we get to do this. Every day, who am I going to get? Who do I get to help today? That's a pretty good feeling. How many of you wake up every morning and say, I can't wait to get to work because I want to see who I get to help today? Should be everybody. It's already in PBS, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's because that's what we do. That's what we really do. We're, we're taking a system to the world and having a positive impact on other people's lives while we build ourselves a nice business that allows us to stay home and continue taking that to the rest of the world. That's what we really do. And all you guys got to do is just flip that switch one day or write this down, write this down on a piece of paper. I am a marketer. Every job we've ever accepted in our life, I am now a nurse. I finished school and I accepted a job. I'm a nurse. I'm a doctor. I'm a lawyer. I'm a roofer. I'm a carpenter. I'm a framer. I'm a mechanic. We all made that decision, and that's what we got focused on, right? Whether we went to school or went to college or went to trade school or we just taught ourselves, we went into some kind of a career, some field, and when we got that job, we said, I am this now. I'm a mechanic. So we got focused on being a mechanic, right? We tried to be the best mechanic we could because we wanted to take good care of our customers, and we also didn't want to get fired, (laughs) right? We did the best job we could. We were students of whatever we decided we were getting involved in. That's what we do now. We're marketers. And for those that are invited here that want to become marketers, 
We can't wait to teach you how to become marketers. We can't wait to teach you how to make this money or whatever it is that you're looking for. Part-time income, supplemental income, a, a career change, get, get, get plugged into our system and start well, following the steps and following the training and listen to all the mentors that and we have many of them here. We have many people that teach many classes and do many videos and many calls and are willing to help anybody that, that's looking for, all you got to do is show up. Show up and say, I need some help. And there's going to be somebody there to help. There always is for everybody. As long as you open your mouth and say, that's what you're looking for. So we're taking relevant products and services to the marketplace, building legacy incomes through blogging. Why do we use blogging? We don't get on there and blog every day, all day. I'm not a blogger. Are you a blogger, Stacey? Nope, I'm a marketer. But Rory chose to use a blogging format because blogging creates content on the page. And content is what the search engines are looking for. We just write the page once. We don't have to write the page every day. We don't have to write uh, you know, 30, 20 pages a day. We don't have to blog all day long. We just got to finish those pages one time and then market them, get traffic to them. Blogging format creates the content on the page. Everything that people are looking for when they sit down and type on their computer, uh, <laughs> discount women's shoes, whatever it is they're looking for and they're typing into their computer, that's in the content and in your keywords. That's how the SEO works. That gives us relevance for all of our advertising, but also the search engine optimization, right? That's what helps us get traffic there. This making sense? But guess what? You don't even have to figure all that out. You just got to rewrite one paragraph at a time. Put it in your own words. Follow what your upline says. Post some ads with, to your pages. We don't have to figure out all that technology. 95% of the work is done for us already. That's what Rory brought to the marketplace. That's why myself and Stacy and Nell and um, so many other faces on here that you see, uh, Antoni, that's why we're so excited to get up and go to work every day. That's what he brought to the table. That's what he gave us to take to the marketplace. And we're proud to be marketers. And I hope you guys can see what we have. If you haven't watched that 13 minute video yet, Ask the person who invited you here to see that 13-minute Keystone video. Rory does a beautiful product overview. Um, and I don't think anybody can do the whole entire thing justice in 13 minutes. But if anybody can, the guy who created it can, because he does a darn good job of it. That video is, is perfect. That video goes, explains everything and goes right through it. And nine out of 10 people that I show that video to are excited and want to be a part of it. That's what we have. That's what we get to take to the world. So Rory and Tanya, write this down, you guys. Rory and Tanya have solved two problems for building a business on the internet. Lead generation and a website. But guess what? We have the training and the support and all the other tools that need to come. But the, the biggest reasons why people quit is because they get frustrated. They get frustrated about learning or they get frustrated about the expenses of marketing. Marketing is what Rory and Tanya do best. Marketing is what they provide us. They've invested in all of us by giving, not charging, giving us those marketing, those leads and those marketing tools, it's, uh, that's them investing in us because they know they're going to get a return on their investment by helping you become successful. Does that make sense? No one else is doing that. Not on this planet. I mean, we can go ask, um, what's his name that wants to colonize Mars if they're doing something up there, but no one on this planet uh, Elon Musk, that's his name. <laughs> we can go ask him if they're gonna if they're planning something on Mars like that, but there's nobody on this planet doing that besides Rory and Tanya Rickard. That's what we have. That's what you have in front of you. That's what you need to pick up and run with right now. Some people are part-time, some people are full-time, some people are in between part-time and full-time, right? I understand Jim Rohn told me we, we have to work our J-O-B to pay the bills while we take in our spare time, we work on our career to pay for the future. It doesn't matter how many hours a week you have or how many hours a day you have, it's how productive you are in those days that you have. How fast can you get through the training? How fast can you get through, this, through the pages and get the work done that you need to get done? For me, it's always easier to go faster. It was easier to go faster for me than it is to go slow. 
I know sometimes going slow feels safe. If you have the extra hours and you're not investing in yourself by trying to go a little bit faster, all you're holding yourself back. For me, it was always easier to go faster because I could get to where I want to go faster, right? That makes sense? It's easier to go faster than to go slow. It always is. And taking time off, that's always devastating to a business because take the more time you take off, the, the more you forget and the more the, you lose all your momentum. And so it's a whole lot easier to get, it's a whole lot harder to get restarted than it is to get started the first time. So go as fast as you can. Dedicate this year, 2022 to you. Go as fast as you can. Learn as much as you can. Put forth as much effort as you can. Don't take time off. Don't, you know, don't go floating down the river four days a week on the inner tube because it's a nice thing to do. I used to do that too, but it is a nice thing to do. But don't do that four days a week just because everybody else wants to. You're working on your future. Instead of floating down the river four days a week now, work on your future and float down a bigger river on a nice boat. <laughs> a boat that you bought with your business. And that a much, but doesn't that sound like a nice, you know, you can have one line out with a raft, but you can have six lines out with a nice boat, right? Dream big, because that's what this industry does. And it, it, it'll do it for anybody. If you believe, and your belief system is right, and I think I mentioned this the other night, if your belief system is right, you can achieve anything that you write on a piece of paper, or hang on that wall. You, I'm hanging a picture of a boat up there. I'm going to a boat show here real soon, Stace, by the way. And I'm going to hang a picture of the boat that I choose right up there on the wall. And in a couple of years, I'll have that boat because I believe it. I believe in us. I believe in the system. I believe in my work ethics. I believe in the tools that we have. I believe in everything that we're taking out there. And I believe we're going to grow and keep growing nationwide. I believe in my team. I believe in all the leaders in this company. I believe in the leaders, uh, you know, the founders of the company. I believe in the corporate officers of the company. I believe in everybody. I even believe in that Kansas City fan out sitting up there, Doug Cartwright. <laughs> I believe in everybody. So I'm going to have that boat in a couple of years because I've decided it's time for me to get another boat. Well, that's why you guys need to dream, whether it's a, a new house or your first house, depending on how young you are. I see some young people out there. Whether it's your first house or a new house or a bigger house or you want to build one or you want to buy one already built, you need to know what that house looks like. You need, to, you need to picture it in your head and hang it on the wall. You need to know what color it is, what the, sh the shutters look like, what the steps look like going in there, what the windows like. You got to pick a fence around the front or you got an iron gate around the front. You have flowers around lining the driveway or is it gravel lining the driveway? You need to really visualize that house, that boat, that car, that new motorcycle, Mike Campbell, whatever it is that your goal, whatever your next goals are, and you've got then we're just floundering. We have to have something to constantly work for and reach for, right? But you have to visualize it specifically. You have to actually see like you're taking a virtual tour through the house and around the property and then write that down, find pictures of magazines, make a little dream board, stick it on the wall. That stuff works. That stuff really works. I've done it for 33 years and every time I've hung something on the wall, I got it. Every single time. There's not one time I didn't hang something up there on that wall and didn't achieve it because my belief system was right. And I believe that God wanted me to have that. Why? Because it made me comfortable and he wanted me to be comfortable. Because that's the way we're supposed to live, comfortable, abundant. That's the way he wants us to live. Because the more money we make, the more good we can do for more people. The more good we can do for our, our neighbors, our family, or even our ex coworkers, because hopefully you quit your job by then. <laughs> We've got something incredible here. And in my 33 years in, in this industry, I've never seen it this good. Never. I'm really excited. I really am excited about where we're going, what we're doing. And every morning I do get up and say, wow, we get to do this. Who do I get to help today? Sometimes I um, get on the phone with my top leaders and we, and we talk about uh, what's your calendar look like? What's my calendar like? Oh, wow, look at that. There's a couple spots. I need to go fill them up. Have a great day. Let's go fill up them calendar spots. Let's see. Wow, your calendar is pretty full. Guess I won't be talking to you the rest of the day. Have a good day. If our calendar ain't full, we don't feel good about it. We, we're doing everything we can to try to fill that calendar up. 
because we know where we're going. We're confident. We have everything we need. There's not one thing we don't have here to achieve whatever it is you came here to achieve. Angel, whatever it is, whatever your goal is, new car, new bike, new house, doesn't whatever it is, write it down on a piece of paper and then say, I deserve it and I'm going to have it soon. Whatever it is, write it down on a piece of paper. I'm good. I deserve it and I'm going to have it soon. Doesn't matter what it is. If it's something small, you might have it in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. If it's something big, you might have it in a year or two. But it doesn't matter if you got to get your dream house in three years from now, because you're still making a lot of money, having fun, helping a lot of people along the way. So we got to have short-term goals, mid-term goals, and long-term goals, because it's nice to check off some of the small ones. It's nice to say, got my new motorcycle, now I'm heading toward my new boat. Oh, got my new boat, now I'm heading toward a, you know, the new house down in um, Belize. Or, I don't know, but we'll build one somewhere. <laughs> right? It's nice to do those. It's nice to check them off. Guess what? That's what we do here. I was talking to somebody the other day and we were talking about careers and how much the average doctor makes and the lawyer makes and surgeon makes and this guy makes and that guy makes. And there's nowhere on the planet that can that earn the kind of income that we can make in this industry. Get closer to the camera. Get out of uh, a house on my own. Get out of someone's house and on your own. Go ahead, you can unmute. Just click on the little microphone and unmute or hold on the space bar. I said I want to get out of my son's house. Oh, fantastic. You'll probably hate to see you go, but that's a good goal. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been living here long enough. Yeah, we need our we need our space. Write it down. Now what you didn't write underneath there is I deserve it and I know I'm gonna have it soon. Don't forget that part. Yeah, because I put house of my own. Yeah. Good. Good goal. Fantastic. Don't forget that part. I deserve it, and I know I'm going to have it soon. And you've got you've got plenty of mentors here, and plenty of help, plenty of support, plenty of tools. And I'm telling you guys, there's more leads than it than the rest of us could even dream about working. There's we, one problem we will never have here is not enough leads for our business. No one will ever be able to produce the quantity or quality of leads like Rory and Tanya Rickard can do with the several marketing companies that they have. They've solved all the problems. They've solved the reasons why people don't succeed and end up falling out. Go ahead, Danielle, on you. It's too hard to read. Just click it. Okay. Um, I want a ranch with two plus acres with. Um, miniature animals i want a miniature donkey a miniature horse mini goats yes and you're gonna Details. send that to me correct so i can record that as yep. you're <laughs> yeah <laughs> you want to record that well no, just, just take a book. picture I of it send it to her yep <laughs> is that what you want to no no she Are wants you? that I'm, I'm just happy to see you do it Oh, okay. Don't forget you don't forget to write underneath it. I deserve this and I'm gonna have it soon. Write that part down. My students accountable, Danielle. <laughs> whatever you whatever you write on that piece of paper, please don't forget to write that part. I deserve this and I will have it soon. That's how we manifest that into our reality, our belief system. It's not magic, you guys. It's working on your subconscious. Your conscious starts talking to your subconscious and says, hey, are you lying? Because you, you don't have that yet. And it, and it starts making, starts you start creating different habits, different uh, amounts of work hours, different things are happening without you even realizing it. It's not some kind of magic. There's no Harry Potter here. <laughs> it's your subconscious helping helping you take the steps and the actions that you need to get where you need to be. Because it doesn't, your, your conscious doesn't want to make your subconscious a liar. It's called prosperity consciousness. If you believe it, then that battle's going to happen and things are going to start changing where that's, those things are going to start happening in your life. That's how it works. So 
We've got a, we've got a lot of incredible stuff here. We have what um, less than fifth, or we have 15 minutes left. We have to get ready for the next section. Um, there's a couple things I want to cover with you guys. Um, Rory and Chandy have the lead generation companies to help us build this, right? And there's also another problem that they help solve, and that's the expenses of getting a business started over those first six months, right? The, the initial expense of getting a business built, they found a way to take that pressure off everybody. And Chloe, you are um, unmuted, so you can jump in here anytime too. They, they've, they've created a program that gets together with you and creates an LLC in whatever state you live in. They give you money to go open up a bank account. They get the, after you open that bank account, you go apply for a merchant account with that bank account. And this in that LLC uses that merchant account to grow some advertiser's business because you help them, Danielle, Angel, and anybody else, because you help them put that together, did the paperwork and did the legwork in the beginning, they're willing to pay you $750 a month. $750 a month for a minimum of six months. Now, every time Chloe sets one up, there we hope it lasts forever. I know people who've been getting it for over three years now. But there's, you know, any advertiser could fall out, decide maybe he bit off more than he could chew and he dropped out, right? Then they pay you $250 a month, something like that, for a cooling off period to get that bank cleared. And hopefully they can get you another advertiser in six, seven months but you're guaranteed that money for at least six months. So $750 a month for a minimum of six months for doing that little bit of paperwork you did in the beginning, that's $4,500 extra dollars in your pocket. That will really help. It, and even if it only lasts those six months, it helps that, that weight of getting a business started for the first six months, doesn't it? I've had some people who work in a full-time job and a part-time job. That 750 allowed them to quit the part-time job, so they only worked the full-time job. They gave them more time with their kids, more time at home, and guess what? More time to build this business. It's a great relief, but we don't care what you do with it. Pay the electric bill, pay the rent on a new place, uh, Angel, pay the car payment, pay the auto insurance, pay. With no one cares what you do with the money. It's just there to cause help that relief to, of getting a business started for the first six months, and it's called the independent business office, our IBO. And that's something you want to talk to the person who got you here, because guess what? It's normally only available to triple R247 or P triple R247 PBS family members that are in our anchors, but they're opening it up to everybody and they're opening up to friends and family. That's what, another reason why you got invited here tonight. The person who invited you here can help you stick $750 in your pocket. So what do you need to do? Get with them, get with the person who invited you here, fill out a Trello card. Remember, just write this down, Trello, fill out a Trello card so Mac can find you. Order your PBS, join the family, get in the IBO, get plugged into our training. Think, find out everything they have, become a student and do exactly what I did. And hopefully 33 years from now, I'm gonna be hearing Cynthia Daywood on this call. I'm telling everybody what this business has done for her. Why? Because she's got great energy. I can see it. <laughs> I can see that smile. I can see that energy. And she leans in and she's listening and paying attention and taking notes. And she's somebody that wants this. I can already see that, Cynthia. You're going to do well here, by the way. Yeah, I see a lot of faces like that. I just happened to pick on Cynthia because she was right there in the front. <laughs> Hope you don't mind, dear. Danielle? Did you write down, I deserve this and I'm going to have it soon? Fantastic. Because you know what? I see that too. You're going to. It's, it's our belief system. So, Chloe, you should, um, if anybody has any Chloe, any information for Chloe, I know Chloe, anybody that's interested, you want them to send you an email. And oh, that's too much stuff on my computer. Did we lose Chloe? No, she's still there. No, I'm here. It's still a little loud in my background. There you are. Okay. But um, yeah, so if you're wanting to join IBO, you'll definitely want to, of course, get with your instructor, get with the person who brought you here. And then um, either you or them can send me an email with your name, phone number, and your email address information. 
and I'll put my email in the chat. You got it. It's uh, Chloe triple R two four seven at gmail.com, right? Yes. Yes. You want their name, phone number, and email, correct? Correct. Yes. There you go. And remember, get with the person who invited you. Fill out that Trello card so we can find you and we can move that Trello card over to the IBO board and help out in any way that we can. So if you've been here for one day because you got invited or you've been here for a week or you've been here for a month or you've been here for three months or you've been here for six months and you haven't heard about the IBO or you don't understand the IBO or you just weren't sure about the IBO, Get that email to Chloe with your name, phone, number, email, so she can explain this to you in full details and let you see how wonderful it is. Anything else you want to add to that, Chloe? And hi, Ava. Uh, no, you pretty much explained it all. That all right, good. cool. Right, I gave the short version, but it's, it's a good synopsis, right? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Rory and Tania and... Chloe found a way to put money back into the family and help um, build this business or take relief off your bills to help while you help build a business. So take advantage of it. And if you, and if, if you have other people that you thought of that just couldn't get them on this call tonight, that offers not, doesn't die tonight, get in touch with them and um, get a hold of Chloe through that email or get a hold get with your MSI and figure out what you got to do and get that card over to the board so I can get you started for you. All right. Welcome to, I don't know where the new people went. What was like seven, seven guests? Welcome. I'm glad you made it. I hope I've answered your questions or at least give you enough information to, to reach out and find out the rest of it. Do we have our um, Triple R24 family student call coming up? in 10 minutes if you have any questions about anything that i've covered especially the ibo for chloe before she takes off um go ahead and raise your hand and we'll see if we can answer your questions if chloe can answer or one of us can and then in 10 minutes we're going to start our triple r our regular tuesday night triple r 247 team call and you're welcome to stay for that as well shane can't figure out how to raise her hand, so I'm going to unmute her anyway. I've seen that hand ring, Jane. There you go. You got to uh, click on the microphone or hold down the space bar on your keyboard. Does that help? There you go. Um, and it may just be because I'm not used to your accent, but could you please t spell the name of that card you keep saying? Because I haven't been able to figure out what you're saying. Trello. Spell it. Put it in the, in the chat. It's in chat, Trello. Oh, you already did. <laughs> it's our card file system that we keep everybody's records on. Okay. And and whoever invited you here, they they probably know what it is. They're going to make a card for you that we move to the IBO board. Uh, but you need that card if you're going to join the family as well anyway. Okay. So tell them you need a, uh, you want to fill out a Trello card so you can get started. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Any other questions? Drea. Drea, you made it. Yes, I did. Hi, guys. Um, so did you make a card for me, Niall? Or I will. Okay. That's that's well, that was our that's the thing we're talking about uh, next, remember? Yeah, yeah. Uh can I contact you after this? I have a couple questions. Uh, after this, we have the team call, but after the team call, I have to see whether we're meeting with Rory or not. If we're not, I'll, I'll text you and say yes or first thing in the morning or how late. Okay. okay. Glad you made it on, though. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to. It kept saying invalid meeting numbers. So I'm like, what the heck? Oh, but... goodness. <laughs> yeah, okay. You got it. All right. Thanks. Vicky Epperly. Okay, Chloe, is there any chance of uh, being over the age of 70 that I would be able to get into the IBO? That's a good question. Um, so you have to be, so you have to be in the 
under the age of 69 in order to get into the IBO. And that just has a lot to do with the banks. Um, it's a bank rule. I do apologize for my little one. Um, it's just a bank rule. So it's just something that we have to follow when it comes to the banks. Okay. I didn't know if there was any leeway there or not, but thank you. Of course. Yeah. I know Rory has uh, fought with them a lot over the years and really tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to get that. But, you know, the banks are, hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not relenting. But worth, Vicky, worth if, if you have a close family member or anybody that lives in your house that you can get that done in their name um, and still have that coming in. So uh, whoever your instructor or MSI is, get with them. Okay. Well, that's I not know. an option in my case. Okay. He's only five. So <laughs> I don't He's only five. He yeah. Okay, I, mean, he, I don't think he qualifies. <laughs> he's got a couple of years to wait that like, um, 19 more years, then we'll hook him up. Okay. All okay. Right. Thank you all. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay. Mary DiGiovanna. Hi, Chloe. Hi. Um, my IBO just finished in April. Is there a waiting period before you start another one? That's a good question. Yes, there is about a, we would wait about six months before we look into restarting it. Um, that's something that resellers does. So we just have to give it um, six months before I can look into getting you restarted. But once you're six, so once it hits six months, send me an email so that I can look into getting you restarted because I will forget. <laughs> um, so just send me an email when it's been six months so we can look into it. Okay. Yeah, a lot of logistics involved in that. Uh, hang on, Angel. Let me lower this one's hand. Go ahead, Angel. Yeah, so do I just talk to my instructor about the IBO? Because this is technically my second week here, so I'm still fairly new. Yeah, get with your instructor, and they'll, they'll fill it out for you. And how long does that usually take? Well, it'll take a day to fill out the uh, Trello card and get it started and you'll get contacted by Jim or Chloe or somebody. And um, then there's a little bit of paperwork to do and how fast you can get that paperwork back to them. Then, to, then they're going to send you more and get it back to them. I think on average, <laughs> Chloe probably better to answer this that I don't know why I even started because Chloe's here. Um, a couple of months. Know. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um yeah, you're probably, so the process can take a little bit of time depending on when you get your documents in. So yeah. um, once you've gotten your documents in, you're looking at about 60 to 90 days before you'll uh, totally 100% be set up with an advertiser and get going. And that's different from the 1099, right? 1099, like your 1099 form? Yeah. So that would be like your taxes? Yes. So you have to submit like your... So like, I'm sorry, yeah. I don't know what you're asking. At, at the end of next year, Angel, then you'll get all the paperwork yeah. you need for taxes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't get that until um, the end yeah, of the year. I, okay. That. Oh, Thank but you. it'll be like 1099 income. Yes, you're right. Was that the question? It'll be like 1099 yeah. income? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Gotcha. It took me a while to catch that question, too. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, so it'll be kind of just like 1099 income, yep. All right. Thank you. We're not going to unmute that Tom guy. He, he just talks too much. Okay, go ahead. Actually, I was just, I thought she was talking about the PPPS program. Maybe that's yeah. what she was talking about. That's what I thought at the beginning. No, 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 no. Okay. Nice background okay. picture, tonight, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like no more questions. We got three minutes to the next call. So let's take about a three minute break and just get up and stretch and move around, get some blood in our feet and our arms, get a drink, whatever you need. Did you and want to stop the recording right now?